It's now time to learn more about references, and this is uh, this is where Rust gets really um, really fun. Uh, sometimes it can be uh, kind of frustrating, but it's uh, it's where you really start to see uh, what makes Rust different from uh, from other languages, and uh, it has to do with uh, ownership. So that means who owns a um, a value like. Uh, yeah, who has it, uh, which variable has it. And Rust always wants uh, one variable, only one owner for a, for a piece of data. And I can show you how that works. So let's, uh, let's make a, uh, a string. String from, and we will call this country Austria. And then we'll make two references to it. So you got ref1 equals reference to country and then you have a ref true which is uh, also a reference to country and this is totally fine so let's uh, let's print them out actually let's print out all three country ref one ref true and so this is no problem because uh, see country owns its data and this one is just looking at it and this one is also just looking at it so there's no problem with ownership. It's always, uh, it's still country that, uh, that has it. Um, but if we, um, and we could do, you know, 100, 100 of these, like I could do ref, ref three, ref thousand, and it'd be totally fine because they're just looking at it. Uh, now where the, uh, where things get really interesting is where you, try to return data or like pass uh, pass ownership around and I'll show you how that works. So let's say we want a function that returns a stir or a string slice. And let's start with, uh, let's have country again. And it's a string from this country called Austria. And then we'll make this country ref again. And we make that a reference to country and then we want to return it. So we want to, uh, you know, we'll make a variable down here in main and we'll say let country, let's say country name equals return star. So what we want to see is a, uh, you know, this should be able to get um, this, the reference to this, uh, to this uh, string here called Austria but it's not going to work. And uh, yeah, unfortunately Rust is giving us some uh, some funny advice here. Uh, lifetimes, uh, we're not going to learn these yet. But let's uh, let's pretend that, uh, that this is good advice. It's saying we should try to return this instead because that will give us the real error message. Okay, now here's the actual problem. It still won't work because uh, country exists inside here. Um, and what happens here is it returns a value referencing data owned by the current function. So that means that this function is the owner of, uh, of country. And uh, country starts here. And then after here, country is gone. So uh, country ref after that, you know, is re it's uh, referring to data that is now dead, basically. So we can't do this because uh, it's asking us to uh, to get a reference to data that doesn't exist anymore. And this is uh, this is one of the ways that Rust makes sure that uh, that everything you do is correct because it doesn't want to have like a piece of data and then you drop it. And then later on, you know, some, some function is trying to access the data and it's gone. And that could be, you know, that could lead to security vulnerabilities. Maybe this, maybe this, uh, this area of data has like somebody's password or some totally unrelated data. So that is where safety is very important, important in Rust. So, uh, oops. <clears throat> so for the time being, if you wanted to do this, you would, uh, you would just make it into a string, and then it uh, it owns this, 
uh, there's no references and then with uh, with country ref it passes the whole thing back so now uh, ownership goes from country to uh, let's see kind of, that's right not country ref there you go so now ownership goes from return string to this variable country name and that's totally fine because uh, um, there's there's no there's nobody trying to use a reference to look at data that doesn't exist anymore so we can uh, print that and rust is uh, very happy because uh, nobody's accessing weird data and variables that don't exist anymore